What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about the rumored release date for the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. The date has seemingly been leaked. Now of course as we always do with these things, uh, take them with a grain of salt. But we'll talk about the specific leaker after we say the date and we'll kind of go over their backstory. Uh, the release date is November 30th. That's what they say. Now these the, this this Twitter account kind of popped off with Skull and Bones. Now, the thing going on, like on Reddit, when they kind of introduced this guy to the class, they talk about, you know, this person got the Skull and Bones release date, right? That's correct. But they also got, because they talked about Skull and Bones before that as well. So they, I mean, it wasn't just the release date. They've kind of been on a roll. About, a, I think, a couple days ago, maybe a week max ago, they, uh, they sent out a rumor that's yet to be, you know, proven true, but we'll see. And if it's right, that's another thing, that a more Phoenix Rising is going to be a Game Pass game. So if that ends up happening, um, you know, whenever it ends up happening, I guess, right, that'll that'll, that'll prove them to be right. Again, I, I think the odds are pretty high November 30th. Um, I would like to thank the gaming gods if that is true, right, because they obviously listen specifically to me. Because as we've said before, please, for the love of God, I know it's a horror game. I know horror games, honestly, would do really well in October. October is the best time, in my opinion, to release a horror game or at least promote a horror game. And uh, so November 30th is kind of not even close. But at the same time, October, as we've talked about, is full. I don't need any more games coming out in October. Please, for the love of God, if it comes out in September or November, that would be ideal. And now September just lost two different games, right? Lord of the Rings, Gollum, and uh, Warhammer 40k Darktide. So uh, September is down two, two moderately sized games. Uh, and it's a little bit more, uh, you know, empty. October is still jam-packed with like 10 to 12 really big games. So we'll see what happens. But uh, but November 30th, I mean, that's a Wednesday. Wednesday, you know, kind of odd day to release a game. It's definitely, I, I think, the most rare of like the Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. We can say that for sure. Wednesday and Thursday, you know, we, we're getting some, I think God of War doesn't God of War release on a Wednesday. So there are games, but it just doesn't happen all that often. But no, that's a, that's a good one. The week after Black Friday, week after Thanksgiving, I like that. I like that a lot so we'll see if it actually turns out to be true but i think that would be best for it i know it doesn't get the halloween push uh but really a lot of dark pictures games and a lot of super massive games in general the quarry didn't, does not get a halloween push until dawn didn't get a halloween push now that was a mistake and then several dark pictures games haven't gotten the halloween push so it, it wouldn't be uncommon to not release in october because most of them haven't released in october so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media including our patreon is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one